from time to time during the months of September to May, the north coast of Peru suffers high rates of rainfall due to the presence of a warm water marine current which is known as the Niño phenomenon. This event is characterized by intense rains of almost 3,000 mm of precipitation for several months, generally in the equatorial region of the Pacific Ocean, and causes the destruction of communication routes and agriculture. However, this favors the recharge of aquifers in these areas and reforestation. Nevertheless, with the advancements of uh, technology and construction designs, the use of non pervious concrete means prevents the infiltration of rainwater in all urban areas, causing flooding. To improve this, and to reduce the consequence, the use of previous concrete capable of allowing infiltration in an adequate percentage is proposed. The main reason for not using previous concrete is the search for resistance above permeability parameters in infrastructure. The designs that have more demand focus on increasing resistance from mixture with a low water cement radio, coarse granulometry in greater quantify to find and less porosity, so that the element supports high design loads. However, the permeability is inverse to the requirement, so the use of permeable concrete decreases over time. Besides, the use of previous concrete in pavement areas is limited to local roads and parking lots due to the lower design loads as well as decorative but non-structural elements. Degradations of the aggregates using the previous concrete, either coarse aggregate or just one size or classification, are between 3 quarters and 3 eight inches normally. Random crash aggregates, normal and light, have been used to make previous concrete. The aggregate used should meet the requirements of the norm ASTMD 448 and C33 or C33M. In addition, the finance modulus of these aggregates has to be more than 2.3 and less than 3.1 and it must not vary more than 0.2 of the typical value of the source of the aggregate. In Peru, we prefer to work with Portland cement type MS for it is using construction work in contact with salty environments and soils as it presents moderate sulfate resistance. Admixtures usually require the use of plasticizers, viscosity regulators, and retardants. According to the ACI, the optimal WC ratio to form a stable and workable paste varies between 0.26 and 0.45. The workability of the previous concrete is satisfactory if the water used provides metal and shiny aspect. The percentage of voids recommended for the previous concrete varies between 15 and 30 percent. The last criteria to take into account is the value of V slash BO, dry rot volume of coarse aggregate in a unit volume of concrete, which help us determine the weight of the aggregate in the mixture. For that purpose, the table of effective values provided by the ACI 522R10 is used. The application of previous concrete that stands out the most is in pavements, but currently, previous concrete is used mainly in parking lots like Bannister Park parking lot in California in 2001 or Quill Cedar Creek Casino parking lot in Washington State. In platforms such as those built at the Oregon Zoo in Portland, in urbanization streets like the Central Square of Soyolon, Chiapas, or Moctezuma Avenue in Guadalajara, streets as Rosemary Beach in Florida, or small squares in Panama, bike lanes in Minnesota, and light traffic sidewalks. Research carried out in recent years indicates that it's possible to produce previous concrete used as a treat layer that satisfies the resistance requirement for the construction of roads and special pavements according to the technical standard CE010 urban pavements and the drainage requirement for maximum intensity in the regions where it occurs the El Niño phenomenon as it has a permeability higher than the design requirement. Previous concrete has environmental benefits, like for example, it allows the storage and reuse of rainwater, therefore it is part of the ecological concrete because it doesn't change the natural water cycle. Also, allows infiltration to the subsoil to achieve the restoration of aquifers, reduce investment in construction and maintenance of drainage systems. Because it is a structure with 15 to 35 percent voids, it doesn't generate heat islands like asphalt and hydraulic concrete. In this way, reduce pollution and carbon footprint. Previous concrete also has social benefits. From a safety point of view, it reduces runoff, water logging, and flooding in urban areas and allows better vehicular and pedestrian traffic in rainy water. Due to its high porosity, it reduces traffic noise, particularly the noise produced by the pumping of air between the tire and the road surface. 
In addition, pores absorb sound through internal friction between moving air molecules and the pore walls. From a health point of view, the solution to the problem of surface runoff from rainwater by filtration will avoid the formation of stagnant ponds that cause the proliferation of mosquitoes that cause diseases such as malaria and dengue. Useful life of previous concrete is around 20 to 30 years. Not only proper maintenance will allow a long duration. A good design and construction is important too. Some examples of failures are cracking, plowing pores, and freeze thaw cycles. For these reasons, it is important to approach the design from a structural and hydraulic point of view, so that it can withstand the stresses applied and the ability to manage water in a maximum rain event. Pervious concrete helps aesthetics using parks, bicycle lanes, parking lots, among others. Besides, it has been used as a decorative element in dividing walls, for example, at Beijing Olympic Games in 2008. Additionally, vegetation surrounding pervious paving areas tends to be significantly more robust, healthy, and beautiful. Maintenance is important as it is part of the large duration desired. It should be done in short time intervals, either annual or semester, depending on the amount of precipitation where it is used. The surrounding sewer system will also prevent the flow of materials over the pavement surfaces, avoiding clawing and preserving its beneficial characteristics. Two common maintenance methods are pressure washing and mechanical vacuuming. Pressure washing forces contaminants down through the pavement surface, while mechanical aspiration removes contaminants by extracting themselves from the holes. Using both methods will give a more effective result.